Turning to national news, Republican negotiators say they are still at odds with the White House over debt ceiling talks. This comes after a meeting on Monday between President Biden and Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Griff Jenkins has the latest. Just nine days to go and still no agreement between the White House and congressional Republicans over raising the nation's debt limit. President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy met in the Oval Office Monday night, but both sides remain at odds over how to reduce the budget deficit. The president releasing a statement, quote, while there are areas of disagreement, the speaker and I and his lead negotiators, Chairman McHenry and Congressman Graves and our staffs will continue to discuss the path forward. GOP lawmakers are demanding cuts to future spending, but not defense, in exchange for raising the debt ceiling. The White House has called for tax increases as part of the deal. Speaker McCarthy said, despite Monday's talks, philosophical differences remain. I think the tone tonight was better than any other time we've had discussions. We both know, we've walked through this for a long time, where are differences, we're explaining them, we're, we're giving a give and take of what we think would be best for moving the country forward. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is urging both sides to come to a consensus soon. In a letter, she predicts the country could run out of money as soon as June 1st. Quote, if Congress fails to increase the debt limit, it would cause severe hardship to American families, harm our global leadership position, and raise questions about our ability to defend our national security interests. If and when a deal is reached, a vote will be required to raise the debt ceiling, which stands at more than $31 trillion. At the White House, Griff Jenkins, Fox News.